Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to my very first bootstrap tutorial. And if you guys are regular viewers, then you'll probably notice that this is my very first video using a Mac. So, woohoo, yeah, I got a Mac. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. And um, yeah, I know I posted this on Facebook the other day and the first comment that I got was, yay, we finally get tutorials in OS X. So uh, <laughs> to that guy who was so keen to have tutorials in OSX, o OS X, Wow, that's quite a tongue twister. Uh, to that guy who, who left that comment, uh, yeah, we finally have some tutorials in OS X. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, you, enough about that. You guys are here to learn about Bootstrap. And uh, before we get started, I actually just want to say one last thing, and that is, if you want to follow along with this tutorial series, you're going to need a good understanding of HTML and CSS. So if you guys haven't learned about HTML or CSS in the past, you need to go back and watch my tutorial series on that. So if you go to my YouTube channel, and um, by the way, that is youtube.com slash Quinton Watt. I will leave a link in the description below. And uh, scroll down to the HTML5 and CSS3 beginners playlist. Uh, there you'll be able to learn HTML and CSS, and then you'll be good to go for this bootstrap series. Okay, and if you guys already have a bit of experience in HTML, then let's get started talking about all the bootstrappy stuff. So first of all, what is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is a front end framework that it was created to make building responsive websites a much, much easier task. And the idea behind Bootstrap is basically that you connect some bootstrap CSS files and some bootstrap JavaScript files to your website. And then you just add a bunch of classes to your HTML and your um, elements or your, your website instantly becomes responsive. Okay. So of course, if you guys still want a very custom look to your website, you still need to add your own CSS files. I just want to mention that. Uh, so basically the purpose of bootstrap is just there to give you a really strong or a really great foundation for a responsive website, but you should still go ahead and add your own CSS to make the website look awesome so that when people come to your website, they're actually like, wow, this is the best website I've ever seen because you actually spent some time creating it and you didn't just use bootstraps built in theme because if you did that, it's going to look like every other bootstrap website on the internet and people are going to get kind of bored with it. Uh, so I just wanted to mention bootstrap is just there for a foundation and it's up to you to build a really, or to design a really great looking website. Okay. So let's take a look at a quick bootstrap demo and I'm going to go over to this tab over here in Firefox. And, uh, yeah, this is a demo that I built using bootstrap. So I've included a menu over here and this is actually our logo. And the menu is actually fixed, which is quite nice. So uh, something that's very easy to do in Bootstrap, all you have to do is add a class. You don't have to type any CSS or anything like that. Uh, and the greatest thing about this is if I go to Firefox and I use tools, web developer, um, and then responsive design view, which happens to be alt or option command M, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that keyboard shortcut. And there you can see the website is actually responsive. So this is what the website would look like on a phone screen at 320 pixels. And then this is what it looks like on a desktop. So it's pretty amazing. And uh, yeah, Bootstrap is just full of this responsive functionality. So if we take a look uh, further down the page, you can see that I start talking about the responsive grid over here in my demo. And this is something I'm going to be explaining a lot more and in a lot more detail later on in the series. But basically bootstrap is made out of this thing called the responsive grid. That's like the whole core behind bootstrap. Um, and bootstrap basically uses these 12 columns to, uh, or it basically gives you the option of having 12 columns. Okay. And you can use as many of those columns as you want. So over here I'm using uh, four columns and four 
or 12 divided by 4 is 3. So that's why we have these three columns. All three are made in two different colors, just so you can see the difference. And um, yeah, basically these columns then expand to fit the grid, which starts here and ends here. And we could also make the grid fluid, which means that uh, this grid could actually start from uh, where the window or the browser starts on either side, so we won't have this big white margin. But uh, yeah, that's just something that I will be explaining uh, in further detail later on. And the next thing you can see is that we can actually nest the grid. So we can have grids inside of grids, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, then we can also take a look at responsive tables. All of that's going to be in the tutorial series later on. Uh, and we've got the option of having unstyled lists and list groups. We've also got all these really awesome buttons that Bootstrap provides. Uh, responsive forms, which are amazing, because if you take a look at this now, it takes up the whole container um, right now. And if I go ahead and um, alt Control m and scroll down to that uh, responsive form, you can see that now it would take up the phone screen and the labels and the inputs are actually on two different lines, whereas on the desktop, they were all in one line just like that. So uh, you can see that it's a very tidy looking form as well. Uh, so Bootstrap gives that functionality to us where we just add a bunch of classes and boom, our forms look nice and tidy. Okay, and one of the last things I'm gonna show you guys is that Bootstrap's actually got quite a bit of built-in JavaScript functionality as well. Uh, and it actually makes use of jQuery to do this. So we're also gonna be doing a little bit of jQuery. We're actually just gonna add the jQuery uh, file. That's all we're gonna do. <laughs> and um, Bootstrap really takes care of the rest. So if I go ahead and I click on this uh, button under modals, you can see that I've got this modal window popping up over here. And I thought this was absolutely fantastic that we can actually open modals with Bootstrap. I was, I was actually amazed by this feature. I don't know if any of you guys are, but this definitely amazed me. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and close that now. And we've also got like the show hide feature, which I'll, I'll show you guys later on in the series, where basically we can click on a button and hide and show divs. And I didn't have to code any JavaScript to do this. All I did was included Bootstrap's JavaScript file and uh, jQuery, and then I just added a class and bam, it worked just like that. No scripting on my end. Okay, so these are all things that we're going to be learning in this tutorial series and that's all I have for you guys in this video. So as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.